<laughs> Yesterday was all about uh, creepy gay kid. Oh, wow. And today it's going to be all about uh, Norton getting sued. <laughs> Jimmy Norton. Our own Jimmy, Jimmy Norton. Norton. Welcome back, Jimmy. Uh, thanks, guys. Yes. yes. Jimmy's been in L.A. for pretty much the whole week. He comes back to find that uh, some, some, in my opinion, douche is suing him. Mommy. Yeah, it was in the papers. Uh, in the papers, in the papers. Uh, both the paper, New York papers here, Daily News and The Post, about how uh, this lawyer that had uh, been on our show on the phone, he had a uh, lawsuit. What was the initial lawsuit he had? He was suing, uh, I believe, because, uh, you know... Uh, it was ladies' night. He yeah. was suing. Right, right, exactly right. What he was suing for. Clubs yes. and bars for having ladies' night. Ladies' nights. night. Because he thought it was... Uh, sexist. Sexist. Gender, uh, I guess, exclusive. Yeah. I'm guessing. And we had... We had uh, we were having a discussion with him about that. Yeah. And then we just wanted to know about other things he was involved in. Um, and uh, his, his take on other... Uh, I don't know, social... Um, Issues, and he was called out. Uh, in Jimmy's opinion, as being a phony. Yep. And in our opinion, you know, the guy came across as, uh, at least, uh, you know, I'll say in in my humble opinion, uh -huh. um, as a, a hypocritical, uh, and and he really took offense to that. <laughs> and and Jimmy, uh, you know. Well, well, the funny thing is, we uh, started being the comedian he is. Yeah, it started out as a a real interview, like, yeah. wow, we're you know this guy's suing. Let's get him on the phone. And then, yeah, it it, it turned ugly because we we were like, what? Well, this guy is a, a ugh. yeah. He had this, um, and and at first we were on his side completely, uh, completely on his side. He was able to actually turn us around and make us not like him within a half hour. Yeah. You know how you know how much I have to hate you for you to be suing an annoying woman's cause and for me to fight you on it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what a tool you have to be? So let's read this. And Jimmy, you uh, do what you feel like you could do because uh, you're being sued by this guy. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, a, he's a crack lawyer. Yeah. Uh, the headline in the Daily News, lawyer cries foul. I get it. F-O-W-L, which is very key to this story. Yes. You know, there's a lot of laughs in this article. I got to be honest, Jimmy. It's one thing to hear it, to sit here and hear it. Yeah. But then when you read some of these things in print, <laughs> yeah. even funnier. <laughs> Suit claims Opie and Anthony co-host defamed him with chicken gag, uh, comma, insults. Yeah. One vile insult apparently deserves another. By the way, this Jose Martinez who wrote this Daily News article, I have a couple of small issues with. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'll you, get to him. You All jump right. in when you want All to, right. Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> so Manhattan lawyer uh, trashed on the Opie and Anthony show as a dumb... Bunch of lines. A and a bunch of lines. Is that for... for I don't know. A, a bunch of lines. So Wouldn't it be, would be A blank blank? Oh, no. A-H, they should just put. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's that. Okay. It is that. Oh, it is that. Okay. All right. So uh, so a Manhattan lawyer trashed on the Opie and Anthony show as a dumb A... What could we say there at? Uh, well, that would be uh, a... Um... Dumb lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> the A-H word. We, yeah, we... you know what it is. It's where you dumb. Ex expel uh, uh, food. Yes, it's... it's there where, you go. Yeah. All right, we got it. Who wants to have sex with chickens is suing the potty mouth comic who ripped him on air, calling him a coward. Well. Uh, Self-proclaimed anti-feminist Roy Hollander, who last year sued Columbia University over a woman's studies program. That Oh, that's what it was. Uh, yes. Uh, that wasn't the lawsuit. Oh, the, floor, the right? woman's studies program. That, right. That demonizes men. Filed the suit. Oh, and then we had gotten into a discussion about other... Uh, groups that have their own studies programs yeah. uh he was so against the women's right. study programs so we we're like well what about schools that have exclusive black study programs and he thought that was fine and dandy and there was no problem with it and that's when we called him out as being a hypocrite right because if if one group uh if he agrees that one group should have this then why not another and he wasn't wasn't able to make a point no. as to why he was against the f uh, women having their own study group, but blacks uh, can have their own, and everything is fine and dandy. But uh, 
This started as a legit interview. Yeah, I want to. I'm the one who wanted him on because I was actually I like. This is why I I just hate this guy, because I legitimately like the fact because I think sometimes those study groups are uh, men bashing. Yeah, I was actually on his side. That Uh annoys me so much about this guy. All right. Mm It, it, it blasts celebrity hound, funny man Jim Norton. Celebrity hound. Like, what, what, I like, love that. Like you're chasing celebrities. Hey, Jose. What you do. Yeah. What's with the adjectives? Just, just right. What are you celebrity doing? Celebrity hound. <laughs> it sounds like. It sounds to me like he might be a, a listener, and he he's kind of throwing these things in. Yeah. Because it's funny. Maybe, it is yeah. funny to call you a celebrity oh, hound. Fantastic. <laughs> you're just <laughs> running around with a sharpie. Yeah. That's that's accurate. Could you please sign this bomb. He could have said it, it blasts boob, funny man, <laughs> idiotic, funny man, irritating. <laughs> There's many words he could of have used. Of course. <laughs> it blasts celebrity hound, funny man, Jim Norton, an Opie and Anthony co host, as a phony and a loser who wastes much of his empty life trying to revolt people. P- can I please oh. wonder? I have to see that. If, if I've not seen this. Like paperwork, is, are those words in the paperwork? Is that actually in a legal document? Yeah, because if it is, a, I have to have that frame. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> if if you're that upset that you that you you want to strike back, <laughs> <laughs> guys, I want to be heard. Uh, <laughs> if you need to be heard that badly that you have to insult somebody through a lawsuit just because that gets your insults into the newspaper, yeah, yeah. like would you actually in a legal document put? Uh, that someone is a phony and a loser who wastes much of his empty life trying to revolt people. <laughs> yeah, he's assuming your life is empty. Not even that bad of an assumption. I mean, and I pay we- for prostitutes. <laughs> Fair enough. But Fair why enough. in the legal document, sweetie? You might be able to counter sue because, you know, and I talking some accusations here, my friend. <laughs> and and talking to this gentleman, <laughs> talking to this gentleman on the phone, um, we started delving a bit into his personal life yeah. and talk about empty and, and and lonely and and desperate. Uh, his 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 dance. What was it? He went to a, a hip hop class. Yeah, hip hop dance. Hip hop dance class. I think we got his MySpace and we we're making fun of a lot of the stuff that he was he, into. Oh, did we tease? Put him? it this yeah. way: this guy, to me, is yeah, creepy go. old guy trying to get young chicks. And for me to say that, mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is really saying something. Uh, You're talking to Anthony, the substitute teacher, Kumia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's continue. So the men tangled during Hollander's August appearance on the Opie and Anthony show on XM Satellite Radio, where an interview about Hollander's beef with Columbia went X-rated in a hurry. I had never heard of Opie and Anthony, Hollander said. I just went on there as if it were just another radio talk show. Well, it is just another radio talk yes. show. But I have, the, I have trouble believing that anyone who, who lives in New York who is, uh, ha- hasn't heard of the Opie and Anthony show. He heard of us. Yeah. Yeah. He, he heard of us. Well, he's a lawyer. I mean, that's, you know. He's yeah. a lawyer. That yeah. says enough right there. Exactly. Right. Hopefully he'll wind up like other lawyers, like Johnny Cochran. <laughs> <laughs> Old pudding head. <laughs> the lawyer says Norton defamed him. In an obscenity laced tirade, Hollander also said the star of HBO's comedy showcase <laughs> "Down and Dirty," nice, which Thank is you, on, Jose. which is on Friday nights at midnight on HBO. Nice plug, right after the Bill Maher show, <laughs> uh, which Jim Norton called him a phony at least ten time, ten times, and joked that the chicken crossed the road to avoid having sex with Hollander. Do you know how great? <laughs> do you know how great that is? That he, thank you for putting that. <laughs> right, of course, it's fantastic. Hence the, hence the headline: Lawyer cries foul. <laughs> yeah. I called him a phony. Yeah, like, you're oh. a phony. Oh, 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 you, you, you so got him on that one. Oh. Wow, wow, he must have been hurt. But like yeah. what? A, what a funny word to put in the paper. Accused him of being a phony baloney. A mm. phony baloney. Made fun of his dance classes. I, I just love how the why did the chicken cross the road joke got in the paper. I know. And with a, fa- a fantastic answer. Of it's, course it is, because it wanted to avoid having sex. Like, first of all, if that was the truth, that's a legitimate reason for any chicken to cross the road. If, <laughs> if a chicken is. is not sexually attracted to a human, yeah. why wouldn't it cross the road? We're bigger than they are. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tony, <laughs> they're scared. Of course they are. What would you do if a, if, a, if, a, if King Kong wanted to have sex with you? You're crossing the road. <laughs> Hopefully to hide from it. <laughs> yes. Poor chicken. Tony in California. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Tony. Good morning, man. Happy birthday, little. No, no, come on, let's go, let's go. Hi. Go, get to the point. 
<laughs> Isn't this the same guy that challenged you to a duel somewhere down in the South American country or something like that? Yes, I believe this is the same man who, while we were arguing, said that it's legal to duel in another country, so yeah. we should fly down and duel. I believe like, it was Peru or somewhere. Yeah, and he, and he was dead serious. He yeah. wanted to duel Jimmy in this uh, some, some country. So basically yeah. what that's saying is in the middle of this argument, which yeah. it all turned into was just a, a, a name-calling argument, yeah. that he thought it would be appropriate to fly somewhere yeah. and get guns yeah. right. and one of us shoot each other dead. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his solution. That's your solution. Your Jimmy's solution is to use his uh, comedic talents yeah. <laughs> to bring a little fun uh, sarcasm to the conversation, and his was to shoot you dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, yeah, that that was your idea. Like, we should, like, w w like my question was, would we go to the airport together? Would, <laughs> yeah. would we meet at, like, all right, I'm going to take JFK. What flight are you taking? I got the 830, but I don't think there's any aisle seats. How about this? You take the 8 o'clock, and I'll meet you down there. You want to split right. a cab? I mean, yeah. one of us is going to shoot the other to death in a duel. You might as well split a hotel room, too. Yeah, and look, does whoever shoots the other to death in the duel... Do, the, do we call the, the the kin of the next of kin, or yeah, should we allow yeah. our friends to do it? What do you think? Should you you're right? Should you get a two way ticket because you don't know who's flying back? R should we fly first class mm -hmm. because those are refundable? And you figure, look, yeah, I kill you. You might uh, as well because one, one guy of us ain't coming back. One of us ain't coming back. One guy doesn't have to pay the bill. So, oh, yeah. uh, Tad in Illinois had what? something. That, listen, the, the listeners know more about this story than we do yeah. because it was just one of those dumb things we did. We do a lot of. Crazy stuff. You were just uh, another one in the long line of, of uh, idiots we've had on the phone. Yeah, you're just a throwaway segment, but now yeah. the listeners have to help us out and remind us of stuff. Uh, this guy was going to say that this guy set up the chicken joke because he goes, you're a comedian, say something funny. I believe that was true, which is, is just hilarious. So, yeah. And I think it, it was a damn good one. I'm oh, gonna, It was yeah. a doozy. It really was. But oh, Lulu. Now we know why uh, this show was never replayed, because... So the boys uh, behind the scenes were hinting, eh, don't, huh, eh. So I guess uh, I guess something was going on behind the scenes that no one Not told real. us about. Yeah. Now this is a valuable segment but to the open ethics. It's community. amazing to, to actually like tie up the legal system yeah. with this crap. Horse crap. This is exactly what uh, some of these lawyers, such as this gentleman, uh, do uh, that really give lawyers a, a horrific name. This is exactly what they do. This is uh, uh, what I see as a frivolous lawsuit that's tying up court's resources so that real, authentic, legitimate cases uh, have to be pushed back, have mm -hmm. to be delayed. The whole legal system's tied up because uh, of lawyers like this gentleman who was a little personally insulted and instead of taking it like a man, he has to bring it into the courtroom to get attention for himself. It's mind-boggling how in an argument where he actually was allowed to talk, it wasn't like we turned he was. his down, a... he was responding and I was responding. Yes. To drag the legal system into yeah. what amounted to two people arguing yeah. Yeah. is mind-boggling. Well, when I got the Google alert yesterday, I thought this was the onion or something. I really thought it was. this has yeah. to be a goof. Fake. Yeah, but it's real. Uh, let's say hi to Dennis in Pennsylvania. Hey, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Go Phillies, by the way, I Dennis. Want, oh, boy. I want to know. <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah, right, I'm here. I want to know when uh, tickets go on sale for your court appearances. Ah, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I actually I'm will be selling tickets uh, for my court appearances uh, in Boston, November 15th, <laughs> uh, at my <laughs> Wilbur Theater show, <laughs> the 945 show. I don't know if it's sold out or not. All right, let's continue here. So, uh, down and dirty, blah, blah, blah. All right, so, uh, joke that the chicken crossed the road to avoid having sex with Hollander. Here we go. The half-million-dollar lawsuit slams Norton as a wealthy fraud masquerading as a man of the people. First of all, I wish I was a wealthy fraud. I do well. But yeah. wealthy, I don't, I don't know. I don't think of what I make as wealthy. Right. Um, you but lost everything. You lost everything in the stock market the last three weeks. Oh, am I taking a <laughs> beating? We all have. 70, about 70 G's down Oof. already. On safe stocks. And that's, and that's as of October 1st. <laughs> that's oh, my yeah. statement. I looked at my statement yesterday. I'm like, oh, my Only God. Only since October 1st? No, the no, that's up to up, October. Up till October first. So it still oh. doesn't include, you know, 
what has October happened. October 1st till now, where right. it's really taken right. a beating. Right. So I don't even... I, I, it's funny you opened up your statement because I got mine yesterday. You ever get your statements to just not open them? That, that's exactly what I did yesterday. Like, I don't want to look. I don't know why you looked. I got the statements from our guy, and I just threw them in the shredder. I swear <laughs> to God. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't want to look. I can't even handle this. I can't even handle this. All right, so uh, the half million dollar suit slams Norton as a wealthy fraud, masquerading as a man of the people. Wait, wait, who runs around like I'm a man of the people? You are a man of the people. Uh, Maybe I I think I am fairly, maybe I'm a man of the people. I mean, look, I spend a lot of money on sex. Yes. I mean, what kind of a big shot does that? I'm, yeah. I'm pretty much a man of the people. You are. You know what? You're That's what I am. You're a man of the people. And yeah. I'm going to sue you for saying I'm a wealthy fraud. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah. a, I'm an almost wealthy pervert. <laughs> Get yeah. it right. It's not a fraud. You know, it's a new century here. Uh, I think we got the trial of the century happening right yeah. in front of our eyes. Yep. Uh, it said his alleged humor. Alleged humor. Uh, centers on a 2000, <laughs> a 2000 event when he and other comedians were arrested for stuffing a Manhattan bus with topless women to promote the Opie and Anthony show. What? That comes out of nowhere. Wow. Wait, the Voyeur bus? Jimmy was famous uh, before the Voyeur bus. Wait, my humor, but he said my humor, for someone that never heard of the show, Yeah. he really he dug eight years back mm-hmm. into the Voyeur bus incident? He Googled yeah. your name, Jimmy. But for some, but why would that all of a sudden be one of my humor centers? This man's a silly goose. Oh, yeah. Certainly Don't sue me for saying that. It was just a Google. He called me a ridiculous waterfowl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a silly goose. <laughs> this guy has such a foul mouth, I'm beginning to think he uses his tongue to clean up toilets, Hollander said. This guy <laughs> is funny. <laughs> and you know what? You're not that far from the truth, kiddo. Yeah, when I read that, I was like, well, <laughs> uses his mouth as a toilet. <laughs> But that's why, uh, that's why a guy like that will sue. Yeah. This, this is what, right there in that statement. That's his idea of a funny comeback. Yeah. Like, yeah. and there's nothing worse. And I hate to tell you this, kiddo. I hate to tell you this if you're listening. And oh, you are I'm sure listening. Sure, he's taping and listening. Please, please tape away. Yeah. There's nothing worse than someone who's like a lawyer or some other profession, a doctor, anything, trying to like be funny and not being funny. And in this statement. He uses his tongue to clean up toilets. That's how dirty his mouth is. Like that's your idea yeah, yeah. of a funny. Co- how many times have you tried to be funny, whether it's at your hip hop dance class or other oh, places, oh, oh. wherever it is, or at that bar you go to to try to score with the chicks yeah. that you were talking about? And there's that awkward, uncomfortable silence. Yeah. Where they're like, Ugh. yeah. Again, he tried to be funny. That that means you bombed. Yeah. That's what that. You know the guys listening, Hollander. Call up the dumb show. Please, let's, let's discuss this. Norton did not respond to requests for comment. They always do this. They liar, never liar pants on fire. Well, whenever you say- get in trouble, they always say that they try to get a hold of you for comment. It's uh, it's BS. Yeah, Jose didn't. It was no one. No one. No one called us. No one called you. No one called our agent about this. Nothing. No, we the never guy, hear anything. The guy in the post who we'll, I'll get to. Uh, I have a problem with. Or is it a girl? Dara. Uh, lied outright and said that I didn't respond to a, a phone call request, which is an out-and-out lie. That's just not the truth. Yeah, but they, um, they all do that, and there's no real way to prove except it. Except to say that they a get lie. away with that all yeah. the time. Yeah, except to say it's, <laughs> it's a lie. lie. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> That's one way to deal with it. <laughs> True. The suit filed in Manhattan Supreme Court also calls Norton a celebrity suck-up, who launched into mm-hmm. profane on-air rants against Yankee uh, Captain Derek Jeter and mm-hmm. Kiss frontman. Gene Simmons because yeah. they wouldn't give him autographs. No, see again. <laughs> see this guy's just false, out and out uh, a lie. My tirade against Gene Simmons mm-hmm. was because he wouldn't take a photo with me in Vegas when I did. Right? Please. Mm. It's not about a, an autograph. Get my childlike kicking and screaming straight. <laughs> okay. I kept yes, reading. I did blast Derek Jeter. Of yes. course. Yeah. I, I kept reading this yesterday, going, "This can't be real." This is so silly. This is in court. This, this is, is in court. Yeah, yeah. Some some some, court some judge has to like deal with this. This is the legal system has to be tangled up in this idiocy. Yeah. yeah. Some but, judge that could be better used doing something else, litigating right. some other some other or officiating over some other case, uh, is now tied up with this garbage because uh, th- this guy felt he was insulted over on the phone when when he's in the paper all the time. He's uh, he's uh, always bringing lawsuits. Always. Uh, and then you come on radio shows, 
I'm sure this isn't his first radio show. Yeah, I actually you're heard going... him on Tom Likas. Really? Yeah, oh, it was a, ter- it was a riveting interview. It must have gotten along. Uh... It was, so you say you like to... <laughs> 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 it was a terrific, <laughs> riveting, riveting interview. Two, so uh... the guy obviously um, is looking for publicity. That's what he does. That's why you go on a radio show. To get publicity for whatever you're doing. Sure. Yeah. And then he doesn't like what we said or what Jimmy said uh, to him or about him based on what he said. Jimmy didn't just pull this uh, out of his crack and start rambling on about things. It was all based on what this guy was saying. He didn't just, you know, you don't just pull out the, the, the guns and start blasting away. This guy wound up saying things where it gave us enough rope to hang him with. He, he was he was being... Um, I don't know. I his, found whole to... dis- his whole discussion about how he went to the hip hop class and how he goes out to the bars and get, tries to get these chicks and st- was just ugh. it was very laughable it and was, very easy. It, it, it was of. laughable. Yeah. Just picturing this guy that's way past his prime uh, at a hip hop class. I'm- and this is coming from Anthony once again. We, With all, uh, oh, please, I'm <laughs> I'm certainly not past my prime, my friend. Let me tell you that you're still rocking. I of course I am. <laughs> but look at look at the picture of him right there. Could you see that at a hip hop class? And then we called him a hypocrite because uh, he he uh, wouldn't. Uh, uh, some groups uh, are fine to have their own uh, uh, classes in school, their own groups, and others aren't. He's a woman. It comes across uh, to me as a, a misogynistic woman hater. And y- yes. Yeah. And what I said to him at one point in the beginning was that's that's what I was like. What, what you just said. I was like, I hope that you're not just a, like kind of like a caricature in the sense of it's all about women. Like like, it's almost like if you're against any type of exclusionary behavior. Yeah. Or, or like whether it's based on gender or race or sexual orientation, any anything that is, is completely for a group is by nature to me exclusionary. Yes. Right. So that was what I was like. I kind of like the fact this guy is suing for those stupid lady nights. Because if you had a guy night, some feminist would sue. Yeah. But then it turns out he's all for racial preferences. And then I think, I, I haven't heard the show since then. It turned into like uh, the hip hop class. I'm like, oh, he's one of those guys who's trying to appease. I get it. Right, yeah. right. And that inconsistency annoyed me tremendously. Uh-huh. Because to me, that was hypocritical thinking. I think that was that inconsistency bothered me. We called him guilty white guy. Yeah, if I remember, yeah, he's guilty white guy. He's uh, at the hip hop class. He's um, he's uh, not. And, and, and it might sound funny for us to say, "Oh, this guy's misogynistic." But anytime we do anything, uh, it's humor based when we go, go in that direction. This guy just from his conversation over the phone, I found. You know that he came across as somebody that just legitimately doesn't like women. Didn't he have? There was a situation with a, a wife where he got burned or something. And that's what I think where I really start yeah, to dislike it was yeah. when we talked about domestic violence, and he was implying that it was it was very even. Uh, I don't remember. I, to be honest something with you. about yeah, that men as women many, have an equal thing. As many violence. men get beaten by their women, it's something like right. that. And it's like, where do you come up with that stat? Or right, listen, we're really late for a break. Let's at least get. No, let's get uh, the rest of this article in, and then we'll take a break and get into the post and the phone calls. <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy. Uh, the Insult Comics website, eatabullet.com. <laughs> you should I hire this they guy. just as, helped you, should, you out. You, you should hire right? this guy as, uh, your, as your publicist. He's doing more than your publicist is doing. Features right. photos of Norton posing with rappers, rockers, actors, jocks, and porn stars. Uh, the comedian has been a co-host, co-host of the raunchy morning radio show since 2002. We were off mm-hmm. the air in 2000. Well, I guess. Yeah, part, uh, yeah, part of it. Okay. Of it. And is known for irritating celebrity guests by screaming on the air. Now, that I disagree with. What? I'm not known for... That you're uh, known for that, Jimmy. I'm known for being a, a, a worm who gets... Fought. Who, who have I fought yeah. with? Jesse Ventura. Right. Pendulette once, mm-hmm. and then we liked each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, and, it, the, and the wrestler, uh, Chris, Chris uh, Jericho. Yeah. It's not like I fight with our celebrity guests. You do a lot no. more than that, and, and in most cases, you're not fighting with the celebrity guests. Absolutely. No, I'm usually groveling and pretending their movies are good when they right. suck. <laughs> Hollander, that was a Jim Dandy film you did. Yeah. Hollander insisted he's willing to debate Norton on Opie and Anthony again, but said he's learned a lesson. The next time somebody starts cursing <laughs> on me on the air, I'll just hang up, he said. They're just a bunch of cowards who hide behind microphones. Oh, but no. we called him a coward. Now he's calling us cowards. That's not nice. Oh, That's boy. name call. Don't defame me. I'm not a coward. Why you? I'm It'll a girly a man. Countersuit. <laughs> yeah. Let's jump into a break. The phones aren't going anywhere. Everyone has a comment. Uh, if you want to add to the comments, 877-212-ONA. 
And then you have uh, issue with the Post uh, and their article? A little bit. Yeah, not a big right. one. I like the fact they show a photo of Opie Anthony and the lawyer. And how about how about, how about, how about the old, guy? Blue, old well, brown eyes here? Well, the yeah. picture is taken from your viewpoint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, Nor- that's... it's Norton's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Good point. Thank you. That's a good point. Poor Jimmy. Opie and Anthony. Never a dull moment on the Opie and Anthony show. We know what this song is. We come back to this. I love this. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I love this. You song. like this one? A seven seven two one two O and A. We're in the middle of talking about um, Jim Norton's lawsuit. I know I've never been sued before. In my opinion, a very Congrats. frivolous lawsuit. Of course it is. Getting a lot of covers today in the papers. A lot of people want to talk about it on the phones. Stunt uh, Brain did a little search and found out that this guy that's suing you yep. has how many? Eight. Eight lawsuits Eight he's dealing with right now. Lawsuits. Eight active lawsuits, and we can't really, unless we pay the money, we can't really find out what the lawsuits are all about. How much, really? the, how much does it cost? How much? Well, then why don't we pay the three bucks? Yes. Oh, it's three bucks? Twenty bucks? Well, we'll pay that. It's way the, I'll, the I'll goddamn twenty bucks. I think this is what this guy does. He's a frivolous lawsuit guy. You know what the thing is about the lawsuits? Like, it, it, like this is what annoys me about the way the legal system gets tied up. It's like, when you're suing somebody, if someone goes on the air, and, and you're a regular citizen, and somebody saying, ah, this guy's a pedophile, this guy's a murderer, this guy's a drunk, or, or whatever they're saying about you, and they're wrecking your reputation, to me, you have a right to sue them. Yeah. You know, if there's somebody who's seriously trying to hurt you, if you're a lawyer and you get into an on-air argument with somebody who agreed with you and then disagreed with you, and it gets nasty, uh-huh. to actually sue for that, to me, there's something so repulsive about that. To tie the legal system oh, of up course. with that mm-hmm. garbage. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, the the phones are lit with exactly that. Jimmy, Mike in Wisconsin. Mike. Hey guys. Hey Mike. Is Mike. True that uh, Dragon Wagon is going to join us as a class action. <laughs> <laughs> the class action suit. Everyone that Jimmy's ever yelled at. Yeah, Jim Norton had a <laughs> get together. Had a legendary argument with Dragon Wagon back in the day. I would uh, actually like to shake that guy's hand. Now we had yeah. such a nasty one. What was that? Two thousand two. Yeah. That's yeah. when he first came back on the air. Yeah, it's a while ago. Everett in Canada. Everett. Hello, sir. Hey. I was going to call in and be a smart aleck, but actually what it is is uh, I remember this caller, and I think truthfully the only reason he's ripped up at Jimmy is you guys called him out when uh, Anthony was saying, no, I'm honest with women about my age, and this guy admitted to being a liar when he was meeting younger women. (laughs) <laughs> Did he say, I, all I remember is, from what I remember, he wouldn't tell his age. Yeah. And I think that annoyed me that, like, I, I don't, to me, that's a, to me, that's a very a woman's quality is a woman say, don't, you know, don't ask how old a lady is. Mm-hmm. I think that annoyed me a lot that somebody wouldn't, like, I'm 40 years old. And there's, there's times I want to have sex with girls who are 21, 20, I, you know, well, there's times, yes, there's 24 hours in the day <laughs> where I want to have sex with women who are in their early 20s. But I would never lie to them about my age, and I would never yeah. lie by omission. Yeah. And I think that annoyed me. And again, I'm going by memory. This is a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. But why would anyone yeah. not say their age? There's no shame in no, your age. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I remember him admitting to you, if you guys go back and listen to this, he, he admitted that he don't tell them his proper age. Yeah, we, now we have to go. Now we have to go listen to that segment yeah. again. It was one of those who gives a crap segments. Yeah. It was okay. We we remember Jimmy was awesome in it, but mm-hmm. then we moved on with our show. To him, it was everything, and now he's suing over it. All yeah, right. Well, I think, and my, if I got just a second for my smart ass comment, I think what it is is Anthony's going to be sued because some trucker's retread come off and he blew up and hit the ditch. That's right. Yesterday I was uh, bashing a trucker. Yeah, so that I hope his retread blows and he goes into a ditch and explodes. <laughs> God, did he have me annoyed? Did he? Oh, why? I, and you know something? I don't even did remember. Did he call now. you a celebrity hound or? Yes. <laughs> I, you was, fake man of the people. It wasn't justified. <laughs> it, it really wasn't justified. I'm trying to remember. Do you remember Danny or anybody? Because well, like, you were what talking about guy... truckers that when you're doing the, oh, the right. shoulder How thing, I'm driving. they're yeah. gonna like. Some of these guys, you know, won't let you through. Yeah. And that angered this guy, and he said he would basically, you know, crash into you. And big traffic jams. you were doing that to him, right? Yeah, and big traffic jams, I'll just do whatever the hell I please to get out of the traffic jam. And a lot of times, truckers will pull Mm. onto the shoulder to keep you from passing. And this guy is calling me an an ass, and 
I don't know how to drive, so I just unloaded on him and, and wished uh, a fiery truck wreck <laughs> yeah. on him. I love you. Uh, and <laughs> it got a little. It, it was hilarious. Uh, booby Man from Brooklyn. Uh, the, the listener's having a good time. The with this. Booby Man. Yeah, well. he writes, Opie, you better read my instant feedback or I will sue. Sue everyone. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, for God's sakes. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Oh, God, I hate the legal system. Jimmy hurt me with his words. <laughs> with his words, he hurt me. Well, my head was bashed apart and my shoes fell off. What what words hurt you? The, the Something phony what a, and the fact that I, he said I had sex with a chicken. <laughs> I would never have sex with chickens. Well, the chicken avoided having sex with you. Sir. He crossed the yeah. road and there was yeah. traffic. Yeah. I was in danger. Yeah. <laughs> I understand the chicken is the chicken is suing for the implication too. <laughs> and the chicken, the, the chicken, yes, the chicken. <laughs> That's if you're being a woman, you're chicking. Yeah, he's chicking. <laughs> I'm a fool. I'm a, I'm a celebrity hound. You are. All right, just chasing you... celebrities. Oof, oof. If you're just tuning in, Jimmy's getting sued because we got a whole new audience now. They're yes, still waking up. You could read. How about you read that article, and that'll bring everyone up to date, and then you could kind of. Well, the first one was, I think, by Jose. What his name was? Jose uh, uh, Martinez. Who said he reached out for comment, and he, may, and he very well may have, uh, mm. through email or something like that. That's possible. I don't always get to my emails, uh, anybody in the press who's. But this Dara Gregorian, just, you know, unless they have an old number for me, is annoying me. Opie, I like when they don't have a lot of room for the headline. So they just kind of like they really the posts are masters at condensing these things. Yeah. Why? Why into that, something that has nothing to do with the yeah, story? Yeah. Why that headline? Because your name is the recognizable one. I know I'm not famous enough to have my own headline, and Anthony is just a too common a name. So they took Opie. Yeah. It says Opie DJ is bestial colon guest suit. Opie DJ what? is bestial guest suit. You know, there's a guy that that's his whole job is to write headlines. And yes. that that that's the best headline is was, is so confusing. Yes. You have no clue what the story's about. And um, self proclaimed, self proclaimed. Oh, uh, are we gonna have to dump that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm teasing, of course. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do a good job of reading. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Self-proclaimed, <laughs> uh, self-proclaimed anti-feminist lawyer Roy Den Hollander has filed a five hundred thousand dollar lawsuit against an Opie and Anthony show host who he says defamed him on air by calling him a whore who had sexual designs on chickens. <laughs> <laughs> when you read it in the paper, it's so much funnier than when you hear it. It's wonderful. <laughs> Can we play our chicken audio today? Get that ready, but go ahead. Continue. <laughs> oh, here he goes. And then they, in quotes, the chicken crossed the road because it thought that Hollander would try to F it. <laughs> Jim Norton said on the satellite radio show. How do you August? sue for that? <laughs> how do you sue for that as a man? Yeah, and, how, how do you prove it? Right. Yeah. How do you get into the chicken? The chicken would have to confirm that that's indeed why he crossed the road, and that's impossible to do. <laughs> no. Chickens can't testify in open court. Of course they can't. Is that why you crossed the road? <laughs> we don't know what he's saying. What is he saying? He's food. The stenographer throws her hands up in the air. I don't know. He's just pecking and running around stupidly. What is it? What's that mean in chicken talk? Either that, or just have a chicken stenographer pecking at the keys, like they do when they play that stupid tic tac toe at the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb looking chicken. But I, I think it's called, and somebody who knows more about English than I do, I think it's called like something so ridiculous that's obviously not believable in, mm. in, in comedy or whatever. It's called. I think it's hyperbole. Is that what it is? Ooh. Where it's such nonsense. Uh. It's such over the top idiocy in an argument. Like, like. Uh, when you say this, like like little things, and, and again, I don't know if this is accurate. Ah, uh, the Giants, man, they really they, they killed the Jets. No rational thinking person thinks that the Giants murdered the New York Jets. <laughs> yes. There's these things in our language that we just know. You just kind of you know mm -hmm. whatever. So nobody really thinks that the chicken crossed the road. In all honesty, to avoid having sex with this man. <laughs> like, there's not any rational person that would hear that and believe of that's why the chicken crossed the road. not. And you, again, could never prove it since chickens don't have a grasp on our language. No. And it would react the same if you said, is that why you crossed the road? Or did you cross the road because you're a dumb animal who thought there yeah. was feed over there? I would love to see... Um a lawyer stand up and say, could you point out the chicken if he's in this courtroom right now? And a, a little chicken sitting in the stand. 
in a little you chicken. You point him out. Has a chicken tie. <laughs> Yo, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he kept, and, and then they bring the chicken on to testify, and there's a hush over the courtroom. <laughs> yeah. He's fighting, because no one thought the chicken was going to show up. No. They thought he was going to shoot himself like Margison in, uh, <laughs> in A Few Good Men in a hotel room and put on his dress chicken blues and commit suicide. <laughs> but the chicken shows up in court. But Jimmy, by the way, I I gotta clear some up because I don't feel like suing. Uh, I don't have a bestial colon. No. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh yeah. Says, I, you know what? You're right. Opie is right. I said Opie DJ is bestial, and the colon was actually in the newspaper. Oh, okay. I was I, saying no. I mean, I have my issues, but I don't have a bestial colon. No, I would have said <laughs> sweet. <laughs> uh, so let me continue here. It's. Uh, uh, the seller, uh, okay, let me read this say, say, in case anybody missed it. Yeah. In quotes, uh, it says, a host who he says defamed him on air by calling him a whore who had sexual designs on chickens. And in quote, the chicken crossed the road because it thought that Hollander, quote again, would try to F it, Jim Norton said on the satellite radio show in August. Hollander said he'd agreed to go on the show for what he thought would be an intelligent discussion about a suit he filed seeking to force Columbia University to drop its women's studies programs. Um, but like, first of all, who comes on this show thinking this is where I'm going to go to have an intelligent discussion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who, exactly. Who in their right mind would go on this show to think mm -hmm. they're going to have... And I think a lot of times people are surprised... When we do have them? Right. But that's not our... But who thinks this is NPR? Right, yeah. Just by the name of the show. And I do a lot of press. See, this is the event. I do a lot of press as well. Like, I do phone calls on the radio shows. And I always, like, let the buyer beware. Let the caller beware. I always do a little bit of homework on every radio show I'm calling into. Mm -hmm. Never once will my publicist put me on a radio show, and I don't know what kind of radio show it is, ever. And if I am dumb enough to just call radio shows... <laughs> Then, then, again, let the caller beware. Why would I be so stupid as to call radio shows yeah. and not know who I'm calling? Why would I go on a, a forum nationally and not have any idea about mm -hmm. the radio show? What all you got to do is Google it or find out or ask. It's silly. He uh, Well, obviously, with eight lawsuits running um, yes. in, in New York, uh, this guy uh, is one of those lawyers that just likes to sue. And likes I, to sue. It's his thing. Everyone tries to come up with their thing. And I hate yeah. the legal system. So I, say, I hate the legal system being abused like this mm -hmm. because there are legitimate cases mm -hmm. uh, that have to be addressed. And I hate seeing this abuse. Uh, Jim in Texas. Jim. Yeah, guys. Uh, just wondering uh, when Jim's testifying in court, is he going to look over at the fellow and go, what up, bird? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> God damn, it's a good one. What up, bird? Please point out the chicken. What up, bird? Yo, what up, bird? <laughs> Oh, that's a damn uh, nice. good... Thank you, David. Nice. I, I forgot to... And by the way, I, I think he was right. Uh, Michael K. Williams Omar was right. The, sh the scene he shot was in season two. There I was you trying go. to correct him. We were of course he set. was right. It's his show. I know. I'm a dope. <laughs> oh, hope he doesn't sue me. Oh. <laughs> All right. Where are we in this article? Here we, we were at, uh, oh. to the chicken. Yeah. I had no idea who these guys were. He said of the shock jocks whose raunchy antics once got them temporarily kicked off terrestrial radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we remember. Uh, the appearance went bad after 10 minutes as show co-host Norton started calling Hollander a white dude hypocrite and a phony, the suit says. Did I say a white dude hypocrite? I don't think you said a white dude hypocrite. I think you said a, a, a white guilt-ridden, you know, whatever it was, that he had this white guilt. Yes, hopefully I phrased it better. than that. Hopefully what I was trying to imply, I think my impression of him was that he was one of those older white guys that wants to kind of ingratiate himself to the black community. Yes. And was afraid to do something that would be seen as, like, you know, racist or too pro-white. That, I think that's what my impression was. He, he's got such an agenda, this guy, yeah. and it, it comes off as very misogynistic. He was against the women's studies groups, and then uh, the black studies groups, he said, were fine because they didn't um, promote uh, any kind of hatred or things like these women's groups do. That's what he said. And then we brought up plenty of examples of black groups sure. that have had mm -hmm. uh, uh, people uh, give speeches that are known to uh, to give hate speech, and 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 he just wouldn't buy it. I and, felt, and that's why we called him a hypocrite. You're, uh, yes, and I felt it was a double standard, and that's what annoyed me, especially when you're getting into legal issues. Like if you're just a guy having a debate, but when, when it comes to you're going into court. And, yeah. and all of a sudden, I'm arguing with you, and I think, wow, that's really inconsistent thinking, and that's real inconsistency. That's going to annoy me. And uh, I remember he said, well, 
you know, you, you it's scientifically been proven that male and females are different, but there is no difference racially, according to science. And I think my rebuttal was, well, yes, but there are differences racially when it, in social settings. Yeah. And we all know that. So to deny that is just stupid or dishonest. I mean, we all know that there's differences socially in the way we're raised, whether you're black or white or Italian or Irish or Jews. That's yeah. cultural. Cultural Culture. differences. Yes. And uh, the last one here, it says, uh, so after he, I called him a white dude hypocrite, which hopefully, again, I phrased it less ridiculously. And, uh, and I have a feeling you said exactly that. I, I want to hear a, that clip and, yeah. and hear you I say white a, dude I'm hypocrite. I'm going to bet you said exactly that. I very you well just, might have. And you know what? I can see you going, you're just a white dude hypocrite. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, you're not giving yourself hysterical. credit. I think you said it, and it came across really funny. With a very Bob Kelly delivery. Yeah. Yeah. You're white dude yeah. hypocrite. Or maybe I was doing Quincy. You're just a white dude hypocrite. And your whole sick society. Society. You're just an escape goat. You're an escape goat. <laughs> you and the chicken hiding. Sit. <laughs> now, before you answer the lawsuit, that's a call back to an old Quincy bit. We yeah, know. of course. Uh, someone's like, <laughs> got kicked off the radio <laughs> once. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. it's been a few times. <laughs> he gave out Hollander's email address and, a uh, incur and urged listeners to harass him. I said uh, this no. in the office. I said in the office That's when I true. read this. I go, "There's no way mm -mm. Jimmy's going to say to harass anybody." I, I wouldn't. We don't. We know better. I would never. I really wouldn't you, say that. You find the word harass in there because we know better, dummy. And if I gave out any type of contact information, yeah, it would have been what was already posted on a website. Of course. For instance, um, if you go to his website, can you go to his website real quick? And just see if there's a, an email because I may have given that out. To and, frivolouslawsuit dot com. <laughs> that is, uh, and said if you know this guy and, and you can contact him, I've many times encouraged oh. listeners to contact people. It's right on the top, right there. His yeah, there email address go. is right on, is top. on top, top of his page. There you go. So to encourage, I've never once on radio said it ha hassle somebody or ever. No. We want to no. know what some of these other lawsuits uh, he's involved with. Will yeah, I want to know out? subject matter. I want to know his win-loss record who on has, these things. Who has eight lawsuits going at one time? I really... This guy. What does that say about a person? This guy. And can I say the last sentence here? This is what bothers me about Derek Gregorian. Gregorian! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Norton did not return a call about the suit filed in Manhattan. Uh, unless you didn't leave a message, Dara. Uh, I don't know if you, who you are, but uh, from the post. You did not leave me a message. I checked my, my uh, cellular, and I checked my home message. I did not get any messages from anybody in the press. So don't say you, you called and left me a message. Yeah. Absolutely not the truth. This, this is the MO of a lot of reporters. Why, we have so many people working for the show. Call her up and go, all right, how did you get a, try to get a hold of Norton? Yeah, how do these news people, they can't get a hold of Jim Norton? Well, they, there's, well there's, hold on. I like the way Anthony implies that I'm such a nobody that it's very easy. Now, now, oh, please. well, I, I have implying people, that. I have people <laughs> protecting me, Anthony. <laughs> we just got to bring you down to earth a little bit, Jimmy. In, in you out there in Hollywood being a big star, you had to come back and get knocked down a couple. And uh, it was impossible. Doing three TV shows in one week. What's wrong with you? Jeez. I know. I heard they. Did you hear the Carson Daly? I did that for you guys. You're a whore. <laughs> I heard the Carson Daly was hilarious with the Steve stuff. Yeah. We'll get into yeah. it after the break. <laughs> um, this is Norton's uh, Welcome Back show. It's going to uh, be all about Jimmy today. I feel very good. Highlighted break sign. <laughs> all right. We'll take a break and come back. We want to catch up a little bit. So yeah. uh, we'll go and, uh, and come back. But that's to say that I've encouraged listeners to harass somebody never. Is, is, is an out-and-out -out lie. I've never once, no matter how angry I was, said for listeners to do that. Dude, uh, I've asked listeners to contact somebody if they know him and find out what's going on. Because people listen and they all know. And I've gotten great information uh, about, uh, uh, doing things like that. Or that's if we not... have a heated discussion with somebody and they have a, a public website yeah. with their uh, email address on there, we can absolutely direct listeners to that website to the email address and say, and I think what you said was, hey, you heard it, email this guy, uh, let him know what you think yep. about it. The word harass never comes up. Ever. Hey, hey, do you think we're, is that stupid to, to even use the word harass? And I wouldn't want you to be harassed. No. I, there are people who hate me who would have sided with you. It's all fair mm. game. Listeners could, could write you and say, hey, we agree with you too. This, uh, this guy can't be for real. It comes out of this. He can't be for. I'm still thinking this is a joke. Yeah, right. Uh, well, he's probably. We'll, see, we'll have to wait and see. At, at his hip hop class, I can, <laughs> dude. The, the thought of him doing hip. The, look at it. Look at him. The thought. He looks like Tom Brokaw. Yes. Doing hip hop. He looks he's like, like Tom Chiasano, actually. A hip hop, a hippie, a hippie, a hip hip hop. You just insulted Chiasano, but it's kind of accurate. He looks like yeah. every high school math teacher you've ever had. Just an. 
Did they Photoshop the dandruff off the suit? <laughs> like that's that looks like the type of dark suit that would just have dandruff on it. I hate lawyers. <laughs> I hate them. And when you go into a court, you just see them, and they're all from the same mold. And this guy is just uber lawyer to me. Mm -hmm. He's just one of these guys. Eight running lawsuits. Please.